hey guys welcome again to my new video in this video you are going to be learning how to upload an image to wordpress media library using wordpress api but before we continue please do subscribe to my channel comment to this video and like it okay without further ado let's dive straight to the code so before i enter the code i'm going to check my current active team so at the moment i have stuff front activated on my wordpress so Check your current active team and make sure it is the location you are trying to target. So once this is activated, move down to your VS code and locate the function.php under the directory of your current activated team. So my team here is top front, so I'm locating functions.php to modify the API that I want to add. Or we can append it to an existing um, um, init method if you already have an, an existing init method for your API you can append it to it just like what i have here i already have an um i already have a register route so i can just append it to what i already um registered since i have this rest api i need activated so i will be using this method to add this guy to this place so i'm going to move it down to the next one and here i'm going to i'm going to add a new um rest route so this is going to be media upload media upload so ah sorry let me zoom my screen so that you can see clearly let me take it up sorry about that um increase the brightness a bit i believe this is um visible enough so i'm going to use media upload and we have this rest okay so now we have the method post because we are going to be posting the um the data into this url so and the method is media upload here we are what media upload okay so this is going to help us media what upload okay so as you can see this is just some parts that you can use but we are not using a format generated by github copilot we are not going to use this format so we are going to use a new format entirely because this format is not really um uh, it's not really amazing to the one i want to show you so first if you are posting into this url we are going to be posting it as a normal post but in the post data is going to be a file type so here we accept the files just as we accept the post so in this case we are going to be accepting files now the files that come in pack um pick the file name in the array so the name of the file that you that you are sending and there is a valid file name for every wordpress upload so i'm going to show you that so let me delete what i currently have here it is useless we don't need it okay so i'm going to be using this functionality that i already added to my um github account so you can just google search this uh, wordpress image upload api on my github account and just copy this method i already prepared this method and it is working very fine so once you copy this method move down to your code and append it to this function area so you can just add it to the to your class because i currently run on a class here so this is added to my class section and don't forget anywhere you are adding this upload file it has to be the root directory of any file you are working on as you can see this is in the, is in the root directory just as we have the function.php is in the root directory because if it's not in the root directory it might not um really be effective it might not work as expected because of this um require file that has to be appended to it so now this part is ready so the next part we are going to now look into now is getting this async name so the data we're going to be sending is async upload so this async upload is what we're going to pass from our postman down to this um files part so define the name of the file that we're going to be sending from there is going to be async upload so for now let's just take out what we have here and let's return let's return the file so that we confirm this is working so let's first confirm this url is working before we move down to that place so i'll copy this now go to postman and add my url so if you don't know how to add the url it's very simple copy everything we have here and move down to your postman okay so paste it delete it down to where you have your domain then append the um, wp iphone json to it 
apply from JSON, then slash the what the um the prefix that we just worked with, which is what add user version one. Let me show you add user version one. Then we have the media upload. Okay, so now this is now added, and we are going to use the post method. So if I send it now, we are going to get an empty um response. So to confirm this is actually working, I'm going to return um well. I'm going to return well and what I'm working. Let's send this and let's see what we're going to return. So now this shows that this REST API, <coughs> this REST API is working. So I'm going to click on save and I'm going to move on to the next step by passing this data as a form data. Don't forget, this has to be pushed in as a form data because we are sending a file. As you can see, it's a file we are sending. So now I'm going to take out this current data we have and return it to the file. Then we're going to send a file from the postman and just to confirm this is working. Okay, so now we are going to move on to the postman to send a sample upload so we can just verify if this is working. So I'm going to open my postman. Under my postman section, don't forget the name we are sending as this file is, is what async upload don't forget it has to be async upload because with async upload we it is being verified by wordpress okay so i'm going to go back again to the postman and pass the async upload as the name of the key that we have here and this value is going to be a file so i'm going to select the file from my computer to upload directly to uh what is called to my wordpress so let me um go to download let me look for an image that is very light not too big yeah this is awesome this is awesome so let me use this picture uh this is okay this is just 954 kilobytes so let me use this one so open so i click on open just now just to attach the file to what i'm sending so currently there's a temporary directory on this file but by the time i click on send it's going to push it down to the server now let's check what we are receiving now we are receiving these files using this format okay so awesome the next thing i'm going to do now is to click on send so that we can return this file to confirm what we are sending so if i click on send now this is going to process as an array as you can see we have the file that we just sent us now directly from the um postman now it it is now being pushed to our server end on the temporary directory of our memory of future memory Okay, so from here now we can now push it down to the WordPress section. So to do to do the next um, next step now is to just return this upload file as this section here because we are already sending it directly to this file area. So don't worry about pushing this file anymore. What you just need to do is to have a what a return and target this dot what upload this dot upload file. Okay, so this dot upload file. Is going to automatically accept the upload file we are sending down to this place as you can see it is accepting it this is the guy here okay so now I'm going to um, click on save now and let's see the magic so once this is processed it's going to check for the media extension if you have any extension you would like to add it or you'd like to add you can pass it and after that it's going to create an attachment ID then process the ID process the size and at the end of the day it's going to prepare the attachment for javascript and it's going to send it back to the server awesome so let me click on save and let's go back to the postman to run this thing again but before we send this request let's check our current media upload section what do we have at the moment we have one two three four five we just have five um attachments here which is five media so by the time we send this one out it should be six okay so i'm going to click on send and is it working awesome this actually upload awesome awesome so now this file is uploaded uh, let me uh let me check let, let me copy this url and let's see how this url is gonna look like so if i copy this url go to uh, my browser open new tab oh sorry i didn't copy the url very well i want to um open this url in my browser awesome as you can see the attachment is uploaded and if i refresh this minion gallery section we are going to have the upload as you can see this is a proper way to upload an image to wordpress using rest api everything is attached so guys thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video 
see you in my next tutorial and don't forget to like and subscribe it is very very important like and subscribe okay guys bye